so yeah, mission 10, we, uh, we had it again, and I gotta say, that race went way better than I expected, so I'm gonna first talk about last season, or sorry, hold on last year, let me grab this, it's a pick with some stuff for this video, so <clears throat> last year I had a lot more strength training, and I had a lot, and I, from what I remember, I had a lot more mileage under my belt, okay? So I didn't have a whole lot going in compared to last season. Okay, so I remember when I was getting ready last night, I said, okay, you know what, Josh, really think about how you want to do in this race. I said, all right, I got some vapor flies. I'll try those. They'll be good practice for how it'll be in the 10K because I'm probably going to wear those. I wore flats for the 10K. It nearly destroyed my shins and feet, guys. Don't recommend that if you can't get like a, a fast padded shoe. If you wear flats in the 10K, if you're anything like me, gonna get some easy feet on your shins so that that's a so so i tried the vapor flies like i wore it day two i told myself okay what am i going to consider a good day going in i was a 58 41 10 mile that's 552 per mile and i was like okay if i can tie that with not as much training i'll take that so that's a b if i do pr i would like to be in the 545s Okay, if I hit 5:45, I'll consider it a good day. But if I want, if I were to consider it a great day, I would want to hit 5:40 or faster pace. Okay, when's the race? And the coach told me, you and Rigo stuck together. You and I stuck together. But then here's what happened: the first two or three miles of that, sorry, first one to three miles of that race, I was with DP, Jesse, and Ricky, and I was like, huh, I'm with these guys didn't expect that so when we hit about mile three where there was a water stand i said okay you know what i'm gonna try and stick with these guys so i just held on to dp and just ricky ended up taking off and he had a, he had a really good day so he took off but then it was just dp jesse and i and i just ran with them and when we went up the hill i was still with them and i was like you know maybe i can stick with these guys so i ran and i just stuck with them and it's been a long time, at least in my eyes, like in my own recent memory, that I've been able to stick with DP and Jesse. And trust me, it, for whatever reason, it's just been a while since I've been able to do it. But we ran and ran. And then pretty soon, there was the finish line, and I was with DP. And I just went all out. And I finished... With a 56.41. I've been saying that's a 2 minute PR. That is a 2 minute and 41 second PR. I apologize. I I should give myself a slap on the wrist. Because I made some very... I made a, <laughs> a dumb math there. So you'll actually see that in the subtitles of this video. I unfortunately can't fix it. Um, just editing it again. But. Uh, 2 minute and 41 second PR. Because I went from 58.41. 5.52 average pace. To 56.41. Which is a 5.40 average. I managed to do that and when I finished and found and looked at my watch I, I had the watch instead of 10 miles had like 10.08 so they gave me 537 for my I was like what I was like no way I accomplished something I never just saw coming <laughs> so it was mission 10 this season was a really good and why did it go much better than I anticipated well one it probably helped that during the race I didn't really I, I was hardly looking at my watch anytime. Anytime I did, I, just, I told myself, no, don't look at the watch, just run. Um, but I just remember being like, wow, I'm with DP and Jesse. Let's see about how long I can hold with them. Then I held with them. And I was like, what? I, I just, I didn't think it was possible. I really didn't. But I chose to just try it and go for it. And I managed to do it. Kind of finally just trusted some of my training that I've gotten in the three semesters I had ran with Hartnell. So it was just sort of just got out of my head and my comfort zone just sort of ran and trusted that I could keep up with them and I managed to. So it went really good. I had actually, I just had a lot of fun. I was having fun. Like I didn't feel any pressure. I was just running and having fun. So mission 10 went good. And to give you an idea of my improvement, I actually since I recorded on my watch with the last uh, 
with mission 10 and 2022 20, actually wrote down this point so here uh i'm gonna be reading off this so uh mile one i was 525 for so i'm gonna list 2022 so 525 for mile one and i'm gonna go mile one mile two all the way so mile one 525 two 544 three 540 four six oh two five six oh nine six five fifty one seven five thirty five eight five fifty four nine five fifty nine ten six oh four here are the 2023 mile splits remember same exact course so we still have the same hills the same distance and here's what i got mile one five nineteen five thirty seven five thirty seven five fifty one six oh two five thirty six five nineteen 542, 538, 533. I only had one mile in the six minutes. Otherwise, I was sub five for all of them. And every mile was faster than last season. And in case it didn't make sense when I was reading it off, I, I, I did put some stuff out. I was just putting it all and comparing them. So it went way better. So I, I really attributed that I kind of just let go. I didn't fear that I was going to die out, that I just chose to trust my team and trust my training i also attributed that it's probably the super juice did help i I won't lie on that one but also i've been doing a lot of band work with this with the training i've done some strength work and i think between all that and just running and getting smarter and stronger with age i think it all really helps i'm gonna so for my next season i'm gonna use this race as a reminder i'm here to have fun i'm gonna go out and run with my I'm going to trust my training and myself, and I'm going to keep going with the band work, the rolling, and the speed recovery. I've really worked on improving my recovery strategy in running, because that's something I've lacked on for since 2017. So, that's that, and otherwise, Mission 10 was a success. Here's the, here's the video, and hope you enjoy. Thanks for your time. One, go! Vamos, Andrea. Vamos, Diego. Go, Diego. Jesus. <laughs> Oh dear.
Again, Kai? Let's go, Riley! Come on! Look at that boy! Let's go, DP! Let's go, Jeff! Let's go Lebron! Let's go Liam! Let's go! Let's go, Rigo! Ah, oh, this guy. Let's go, Andrea!
So Josh, how do you feel after mission 10? You know, pretty good. I had a much bigger PR than I expected. I ran like 56 something sub 540 pace. And I told Moises like a week ago, if I go sub 540, I'll consider it a great day. I did not just have a good day, I had a great day. So it was feeling awesome. Yes, sir.